I'm not like 100%, but I'm pretty sure they've faced off before. I know like Charlie said in the past that he doesn't really like dealing with this character. A lot of people don't because it can be frustrating with the, you know, the Pikmin projectile game and like his really strong smash attacks. Yeah. And, and that's uh, all traits that he had in Smash 4, but in this game, he's an entirely different beast. Wow. Omar Took looking some. more like uh, the character he once was. Yes, uh, the, mainly the, the super quick up smash that you can just kind of throw out a lot of times. And combo into areas. Yeah. Right now, though, Charlie comboing into Terry is really hard. Uh, Charlie just coming off half of a really impressive weekend at SoCal Chronicles. Yeah. Definitely uh, one of the players that you would want to see in like the top eight, top top four, top five position. Yeah, but I'm Hitman right now saying, you know, I don't really care how well you did. I did pretty well myself. And I'm going to take this set over you with a full stock lead. Sitting at 106%, that's well above the kill percentage for Olimar, but he's playing very safe around all of wow. Charlie's hitboxes. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, just run above smash, count him jumping. But uh, it took 67% up to trade off that stock. Not a good look for Charlie. Yeah, Fox is also another incredibly light character. I mean, Olimar and Fox might even be around the same weight class. Wow, so he actually has to, yeah, if he doesn't get a perfect <laughs> shield, he actually has to just hold that. And I gotta say, I'm really impressed with I'm Hip's use of the whistle here every time he gets sent in a general situation. But Charlie have an opportunity here, no fair drag down, still gets some decent damage, puts himself off stage though. Doesn't get spiked, lives for another day here. How's he gonna get back to center stage though? He's gotta calm down. Oh, oh. thought he had the narrow smash? Wow, <laughs> look at the, wow, he was... Charlie. He was waiting for I'm here to press something, and I'm here just stayed in shield the entire time. But caught the jump, another up smash. Two for two, baby. Up smash, taking both the stocks in this game so far. I'm hit already down to one after a really strong start at the beginning. Charlie, knowing he doesn't have to do anything right now, waits around the platform a little bit until he can find his opening. Yeah, I really gotta say I like how Charlie moves in this game. It's very fluid. Wow, drag down fair into there. Uh. I mean, may have been worthwhile on a different character, but Olimar has a very, very good recovery, especially if you get that rid of his pick first. All oh, that backer with the purple putting yeah. Charlie in a really bad spot. Oh yeah. Totally he, turning the tides around right here. Ooh. Yeah, he has a, such a good lineup right here. He actually has enough to just take out Charlie if he gets the right hit. Okay, gets rid of the white Pikmin, but still has to deal with two purples. And he got a red in clutch too. Yeah, uh, Charlie going for that all stage forward air play actually put him in a really terrible spot. Yeah. Like I'm hip is just kinda ran all this all this momentum right back in his favor. He get, he gave I'm hip a second piece of life and he's definitely going to go all the way with it. Two purples and a blue now. He's yeah. got so many ways to kill. Def Smash attacks, aerials, and grabs. Definitely saw I'm hit fish for the Wow, but just get the raw up air, caught him dropping shield, and he's gonna take that first game all the way back after Charlie was looking so good. And this is loser's racket, so loser this is out of the tournament. Luckily, you know, for these guys it's a best of five, but we're gonna see to see if we see any of the adaptation throughout yeah. the set. I wanna elaborate more on uh Charlie's movement, you were saying, is really, really, really fluid in this game, which I'm really happy to see. Um, because it's kind of something that he was known for in Smash 4, but the mo the movement in this game is, is so different. That was one of the things, one of Charlie's gripes with this game is that he really missed Smash 4. He missed the perfect pivoting and the movement options that were available in this game. But as time goes on, he's learning to love the game more as he plays, and it's definitely showing in the gameplay and his performances this yeah. weekend and tonight. Definitely. Definitely gotta agree with that. And uh, I don't know, it's just really exciting to watch too, so everyone wins in some way. But uh, man, Charlie's gotta find a way to get rid of the white Pikmin faster because he takes so much damage when he throws it on him. Still got Sakurai combo in this game. Illusion to up air. Yes, yeah. that probably still kills him. Yeah, oh, it does. I think Falco has it too. 
great read from my kid there, catching the roll with a down smash. Wow, what an angle. Yeah, that, that thing always trips me up, man. Air to up smash, but yeah, Fox's recovery. That upbeat, I always think it's that he's not gonna make it back, and I'm always He just gets scoops right to the ledge. Okay. Gets rid of the white paper and lands on top of him. Nice Nair into the down tilt. Gonna get stirred up the juggle here. Ooh, good extension with the wow. forward air. Keep him right back in the air. Already and got the laser damage to boot. Already putting I'm hip at a really, oh. really bad spot. 90%. Ooh. All right, I'm hip swings for his life there. Honestly, Charlie was looking to press whatever button he wanted on top of him there off stage. Still really solid lead. I'm hip uh, sending him a reminder that he needs to actually respect his opponents. Okay, doesn't get the narrow smash he's looking for, but he's still in a really good position here. Gets rid of the red Pikmin, see how he can approach, deal with all these pestering Pikmin. Oh, thought he had a roll in punish, but no dice. I'm him, get an opportunity to bring it back right now. Full jab, putting I'm him at the ledge. Charlie's gonna catch the jump with the neutral air. Oh, called out the shield drop. Nice up smash from Charlie. Really clean. Okay. I'm here saying you can't just keep jumping above my head like this. I still have the really fast, really quick up smash. Back air with the perfect pick then from across the stage. It's not going to do it just yet, but I'm hip in a good position here. He wow. This is how to grab. I'm hip. Thought he had a read on how he's gonna get off the ledge, but instead Charlie just turned it, turned the tables on him. And took all this damage too. All right. Honestly, that spike trade was still kind of good for Charlie since he <laughs> he got the damage on the Firefox still, even though he dropped the stock. All right, this is possibly Nair up smash percent right here. Wow, no or Nair to require. Just called him out, man. <laughs> Dude, every time I'm here, jumps in on top of Charlie, he gets up smashed, no matter what. Why I feel like Charlie's taking every single stock with up smash. I mean, that's a good, it's a good move. Thanks. Yeah, the range and the damage got buffed, I believe. I know the range definitely is oh, bigger. Oh, the range in this game. is definitely. But it might have actually just gotten more knockback in general. It's like I don't know how like Sakurai sees Fox's moves, and he's just like, yeah, his, his up smash needs to be better. Even though it's consistently one of his best moves in like every Smash game. Not only that, I think it's it was kind of like uh, inadvertently buffed by the game mechanics. After all, you can uh, up smash out of shield really yeah. easily. Like you lose all of the frames that you would have gone through by going through jump canceling yeah. in the previous game. In this game, you can just hold shield and press up and A, and you get an up smash. Yeah, and really, the really fact that you, there's only one air dodge, like, kind oh, of yeah. so much better of an anti-air, too. Oh, yeah. But uh, let's see. I'm hip. Definitely not out of this just yet. He's going to run into town and city for the counter pick, and uh, he's looking pretty good already. You saw when Charlie had to fight from uh, a percent deficit, he definitely looked like he was struggling quite a bit. So this is basically what I'm hip wants. Great whistle again. Tech yeah. chase? No, he rolls up. Or, sorry, air dodges past him. Uh, I'm hip was able to use the armor from the whistle to get through a Charlie's string, but I mean he kind of just frame trapped him into some more tilts. Kept the train going. Still on the losing end of the wow, damage. Wow, the grounded I illusion. Not have said that. <laughs> grounded There's illusion that is actually yeah, it's the, it's the truth. really fast in this game. Yeah. Oh, but like, gets caught. It looked like a miss input. Yeah, Charlie gonna eat an up smash of his own. Yeah, the grounded illusion seems to be like the, the go-to in this game, whereas like it was always the aerial illusion in Smash 4 and previous games. Now yeah, we're seeing the grounded illusion prevail more. Yeah, it's interesting. It uh, seems like an intentional change to the illusion. Okay, nice setup here from my hip. Great DI on the down tilt though from Charlie. If he DI'd in, that would have been a really easy follow-up from my hip. Going right back and forth though between these two. He's gonna get this next stock first. Okay. Set up the tech chase here at the edge. 
Oh, doesn't cover the roll. I thought that was going to be an up smash from Charlie, but still has a pretty decent spot until he goes off stage with that shine. Oh, my goodness. Oh, God, and he looked like he DI'd straight into the blast. Yeah, definitely too. got DI mixed. Yeah, expecting the up throw. That's usually the kill throw. Down smash from Charlie here, bringing it right back, tying up the stocks. Oh, yeah, Charlie definitely doesn't want to be behind against Iron Hip at all. He just, every time he drops the stock first, he immediately retaliates with something. Yeah, and, I mean, you're going to have to, especially with Olimar, it can be so tricky as he's t constantly oh. tossing him when he gets a jab block and a down smash. Quick, easy percent. All right, oh, I'm hit at the ledge. How's he going to get off? Charlie harassing from below this platform. Opportunity. Nice. Waits out the whistle, but it goes for an F to have a better uh, reset move to get some more up there. Still has the stage control. As I'm hip in a very scary position as well. I'm surprised he's not destroying the Pikmin when he gets a chance. I thought he would just try to like S smash the purple Pikmin or something. Still keeping him in disadvantage until he rolls out. Oh, anti air up smash, couching him jumping in a really unsafe spot. I'm hip consistently uh, just paying attention to really where Charlie is moving, and he's noticing that he's jumping a lot, especially. Because that uh, neutral air is such an, a good approach option from Fox, you, you know that the Fox player is always going to be wanting. Oh yeah, especially in this game, like him and Ike, man, <laughs> they love that neutral air, dude. It just does it all uh, for them. It's life. It's life. Neutral air into your imagination. Uh, it it can, it, it. but it can be bad if your opponent scouts it out. Yeah, and then just wait until all the players start to master the parry mechanic, then. Yeah. Then you're going to th start thinking twice about throwing out a, an attack. Yeah, every nair at that point will have to be crossed up in yeah. some way for it to be effective. But uh, I'm hip, one game away from eliminating Charlie, Charlie moving on to the losers finals up against Key. Let's see what happens here. Charlie has been looking really strong. He just has been kind of struggling when it comes to just getting rid of the stock, at least in that previous game. Yeah, but this Ooh. combo game is second to none, 90% from Practically zero, just like that. Yeah, he just uh, he gets the damage really well, but when it comes to the kill, he's struggling, and a lot of that can have to do with him being really greedy. But, uh, wow. That was all off of the ledge. I mean, he harassed him with back airs until he uh, forced time hit to jump from the ledge, punishing with an up air, and then finally a back air to seal out the stock. Yeah. I'm really liking the new uh, the ledge trapping with Fox. The back air is like the new up tilt. Yeah. Up smash from Mime hit, taking uh, Charlie there for a loop. Looking through just trying to destroy the pigment that was on him, but like all of his nares <laughs> just missed. It's unfortunate. Wow, whistle going through both hits of up air. That's pretty good for all of them. It's the most I've actually seen uh, I'm hip go for the whistle to avoid, you know, getting juggled. Okay, back of the ledge here. Nice use of the down tilt. Doesn't get the sweet spot hit, though, that you wanted. Much easier combo off of that one. But it does cover a lot of the ledge. Okay, hit the opportunity to the throw. Another opportunity here. Is he going to go for it? Yeah, I had a feeling he would go for the shine spike. Not bad, a sour nair putting I'm hip back off stage. Then... Charlie's going to want to be really careful here because he's got a percent lead, but he's definitely in danger of dying right Oh, <laughs> no tech? I'm surprised. I, maybe he expected to get down here, like, spiked. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, Charlie rarely misses those techs. Yeah, he was definitely at a percent where he could have definitely still tech. Uh, Untechables don't start coming into play until really high percent, and even when you're at a high percent, um... You can uh, delay your death a little bit longer by holding down as a tech. Interesting. Yeah, it's uh, really Just unfortunate for Charlie that like, he had both those shines, but since Alomar's recovery is so good, he just came back even easier. Whoa, what? Oh, he gave up. Really? 